Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. Today I'm going to share with you a cute gift idea using our Simply Classic treat boxes. They're these cute, cute little two by two boxes. This is what they look like. They come flat like this. They have the lid and the bottom part. And then you put them together and they just go like that. It's super cute. They're really fun to decorate up and to use as little gifts. So here's one that I have recently decorated. So cute. You can put just some treats or something in there. But the problem is you can only give so many treats if this box is so little, right? So we recently went to our upline, Janet Baker's. We went to a, an event at her house and she showed us a really fun idea on how to extend these boxes. Just like this. Look how cute that is. Sending hugs. Okay, so let me show you. She just uses designer series paper and wraps it around and then it extends this box. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that down in there, but I wanted to show you how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to start with a piece of designer series paper. This is eight inches by four inches. Now you can do this side as tall as you want. It can go up to 12 inches, but this one that wraps around the box needs to be eight inches. Okay, so we're going to, going to score this at one and seven eighths, three and three quarters, five and five eighths, and then seven and a half. Okay, so I have four score lines. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold on my score lines here. Just like that. And grab a box. I'm going to take my lid off and just work with this white um, bottom part. Okay, and on this I like to use tear and tape. I feel like it holds my box together really, or my paper on my box really well. So I'm just going to line one of these edges with tear and tape, just like that. And then I'll tear off that top wax paper. And I'm going to adhere this shorter flap. This one's just a half inch here on the edge. And I'm just going to adhere that right to that tear and tape along that edge. And then I'm going to just wrap my box around. It's already scored and it's going to come and meet back up at that seam. Just like that, okay? I like to put another little extra piece of tear and tape just to keep things nice and snug. So I like to just put another one right on my box there. Then I really know that paper is not going to go anywhere. You don't really need to do that, but it's up to you. Okay, and then I'm going to put more just right along this last edge of my designer series paper. And take that off. Just like that. I have my little base. So then my lid goes on like this like that. Okay. Now I want to decorate this up just a little bit. So I have another piece of paper. Now this is eight inches as well, but I don't score this one. And my reason is that this is just, it's a little bigger than one and seven eighths per side, but a little smaller than two inches. So the scoring is, it gets really tricky when you're dealing with sixteenths of an inch. So since it's such a teeny little skinny piece of paper, it's really easy just to fold right around there. So I'm just going to put just a little teeny bit of tear and tape here. You could also use a glue dot 
if you have those handy, that would work great too. And I'm just going to adhere that here. And I'm just gonna wrap it around. So I'm gonna give it kind of its own score lines around here. Just like that. Now you can do that with a bigger piece too, but it's a little harder with um, how big this is. So I would recommend scoring that piece, but with this littler piece, you can just wrap it just like that. And I am gonna use a glue dot just to secure that on this end. Just like that. Okay, put my lid on. And then we can put all sorts of amounts of candy in there. Okay, so then I want to add a cute tag. Now I used the Tis the Season stamp from the Christmas to Remember stamp set. I love this cute little stamp. And then I'm going to use this punch and punch that out. And the nice thing about this punch is that it also can hole punch for me. So I'm gonna stick that back in there and just give it a little hole punch, just like that. And then I'm going to grab some little holly leaves from the seasonal labels die set. And I've cut those out in garden green. And I'm going to use my glue dots to adhere those together. Whoop. Just like that. And then holly leaves are not complete without some berries, right? So I have some cute little red rhinestones and I'm just going to add those as berries. Just like that. And then add that to my tag. Okay, just like that. You have cute little holly berries. So then I'm going to use some cute ribbon and I'll tie that on there. Here, let me bring in the finished product. You can see how cute it is this season. And then put, I don't know, some cute little candy cane sticks or chocolate, who doesn't love chocolate? And just give that as a little neighbor gift or a teacher gift or something like that. Super fun. So let me show you a few other box ideas I've come up with using this. So like I said, you can use any size of designer series paper. This is a six inch piece, okay? And I did, thanks so much. So fun. And then you can even do a big one. This one is with a 12 inch piece of glitter, black glitter paper. Isn't that so pretty? And Congratulations on reaching, reaching a whole new level of awesome. Can you even imagine the gift you could put in here for somebody? <laughs> I love it. So I've had so much fun playing with these Simply Classic treat boxes. And thank you so much to Janet Baker for this great idea of how to extend them. If you have any questions or would like to place an order, make sure to email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com or visit us at stampinjill.com. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. <laughs>